Dear Burt's Big Adventure Mamas, I had the pleasure and honor of viewing this year's trip through a new lens. Now that my son Jimmy has made me a mama, I was able to see Burt's Big Adventure through the eyes of a mother. This is not to say that my lens is better or more important, simply brand new. It's not an exaggeration when I say the conversations I've had and the moments I've witnessed have been life-changing. Each and every one of you possess a strength that is unmatched. I say this hesitantly because I don't think it's right to expect you to be strong all the time. You all deserve to have moments where you can cry, yell, and scream. Because you are human, and what you are enduring or have endured is demanding, exhausting, and heartbreaking at times. It's unfair that your children have cancer, cystic fibrosis, liver transplants, a heart condition, and was paralyzed by a car accident. You have every reason to be bitter and angry, but you're not. All of you are loving, understanding, and grateful beyond a level of comprehension. I had a conversation with Carrie the first night we kicked off Burt's Big Adventure. She has three children who have all had liver transplants. She's in control 24-7 because she has to be. Her children's lives depend on it. The very first night they arrived, I told her, all right, your mission is to let go. Try as best as you can to give up control and let us take care of the kids and you. She got overwhelmed with emotion because of the idea of finally being able to relax. And that's when I reminded her, yes, this trip is for the kids, but it's also for you. Embrace it. You've earned it and you deserve it. Friday night was our first ever Burt's Big Adventure movie and pajama night. We all had on our matching pajama pants, snuggled up in front of a big screen to watch The Incredibles. We were trying to get Malachi comfortable on the floor. I saw him shiver, so I got him an extra blanket, tucking him in with a quick snug as a bug in a rug. And that's when he looked at me and said, you can stay here next to me if you want to. We shared a pillow and watched the movie and he soundly fell asleep. I rolled over to chat with another one of our BBA kiddos when I heard him yell out what I thought was mop. It looked like he had a nightmare and was sleep talking with his eyes open. He was having another seizure. Our doctor and nurse came over to assess. He was coming out of it, but was still distressed. It wasn't until his mom, Candace, moved around to his side so he could visually see her that he finally became calm. His body and face relaxed. He looked at her in the eyes and with a smile said, I love you, beautiful. The small but powerful smile she gave him said it all. A mother's love is like no other. To Candace, Carrie, Thelma, Catherine, Chelsea, Deidre, and Jennifer, you've moved me and inspired me to be the best mama I can be. To be constantly grateful for the precious gifts of life we've been hand-selected to care for. These children were purposefully placed in your lives because God knew only you could provide the care and comfort they need. Welcome to Bert's Big Adventures family. We are better for having you a part of it. Love, a fellow mama.